Welcome to another episode of A Different Perspective Podcast. Yeah. Today I got somebody special to kick off the end of the year. Everybody in the city sure. probably been wondering what's going on with him, where he been, how he been doing sure. uh, since the incident. So, you know, I just decided to end the year off with my, my nigga, my brother, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, man, welcome HMD Baz. What's up, man? Yeah, man, what's good, brother? You all right? What it do? We here, man. Yeah, baby. How you feeling? Man, blessed and highly favored, man. What's going down, man? Huh? I say blessed and highly favored, man. You looking good. I can't do no complaint. I appreciate it, man. I got to try to stay up on it, man. Yeah. Best as I can these days, you know. Yeah. Shit show. How was Christmas? I'm just happy it's over with now, man. I know a lot of people feel how I feel. It was a... Whole bunch of money spent, man. Whole bunch of stress trying to make sure everybody was happy and got what they wanted. And now I'm worried about 2024, man. Yeah. That's it, man. Man, it's so, truly a blessing that you here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it is. Uh, after looking back at all the stuff that happened, you know what I'm saying, this year, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing that you still here, man. For sure. You know? Uh, so... It's been a lot that transpired this year, man. Too much. Since uh since the incident, man, you know, like, how has uh recovery been for you? Man, it's an everyday battle, man. An everyday battle, man. Trying not to be dependent on the meds and that's the meds the doctor giving me, just, you know what I'm saying? Trying to really tough it out and let my body get used to all these foreign materials and all this, you know what I'm saying, trauma my body receives. It's just, just been an uphill battle, man. I'm getting through it, though, man. I'm going to be all right, man. You know, I, ain't, I don't do no complaining, man. Yeah, man. Uh, so, you know, how is it adjusting, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know everything is pretty much new all over again. You know what I'm saying? Trying to adjust without your sight and, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are some of the challenges, man, you you, didn't, you be dealing with? I honestly say, like, it's just really scary to walk around, like, just as far as, like, just doing actual duties, taking a bath and brushing my teeth, washing my face, all this stuff. It's pretty much the same. You know, I'm still composed up still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, I mean, I... It's really hard to describe, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it really, I don't think it really set in all the way, you know what I'm saying, what's going on to me, so. Yeah. I just been, you know what I'm saying, rolling with the punches every day. It's just really, I don't know, just trying to be content with life, really, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I, t I done took it pretty well. I ain't really did no, no overreacting. I got over emotional, and then I've been just holding it together, trying to. Save face, man. Stay strong, man. Yeah. I was finna ask you, you know what I'm saying? Like, have you really, like, processed everything yet? You know what I'm saying? Or, like, are you still going through the processing stage? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I have. I'm still in that. I can't believe this shit happened stage. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah. It's just, you know, like, it's just a nigga really can't believe it. I just, especially being on, on this side, like I always, you know what I'm saying? thought, man, niggas know, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I was telling somebody, everybody don't know, you know what I'm saying? That's only people who was up and around your age. These young niggas don't give a damn about what you done did out here, man. Yeah. They hungry, man. They, they see a nigga out here looking good, a nigga looking like, for like me and young, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know what I'm saying, really just accepting it at this point and just pushing through it. I, I don't really think I, it ain't really, like I say, sunk in all the way, so I just be getting through my little days, you know what I'm saying, and really just preparing myself for the next one in the midst of it, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much how I've been handling it just day by day, man. Yeah. But it ain't sunk in yet at all, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I know. I know we be up at two, three o'clock in the morning, man. 
sure. you be, you know, I wake up at that time, but you can't sleep. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Man. What's some of the stuff that be on your mind at, at, at that time, man? How the fuck did this happen? What I could have did wrong, better, just thinking about all the, the opinions that people was giving me and me just really not respecting them and accepting them and not really just understanding who I am and where I was in life at that point, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a way better, smarter, and safer way to do things, you know? But, I mean, it's just, I ain't like, if my mind did run a hundred miles per hour then when I couldn't sleep shit, it run a thousand now because I don't got my eyes to depend on, you know what I'm saying, take my focus off of it, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like if I'm thinking about something, I got to try to think about something else, say me a prayer, do some push-ups, anything to just get my mind off of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, it'll go into that place. But for the most part, I pretty... I be standing in the light, man. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I try not to show a lot of anger and, you know what I'm saying, frustration. I have my days, though. I ain't gonna lie. Because it be a lot going on in here, man. It be a lot when you sitting at the gas pump and or you, I'm walking in a corner store, I'm walking in the mall. It's just, I used to be able to have my, you know what I'm saying, be on my own team and just be having to depend, depend on people and, you know what I'm saying? I really put my life in their hands every time I walk out the front door. It's just a, a different experience for me being alive. You know what I'm saying? I was so independent and so headstrong about making sure I got stuff done on my own. But I be trying not to I think myself out the game, man, and just really just stay focused and have faith and just know the Lord got me and just keep working, man. The deals don't stop. Man, I never stopped, man. man, I tell you all the time, bro. I'm I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of niggas that uh that are in this position would have quit. Nah. You know what I'm saying? They would they would have gave up. They would have, you know, uh, let their business go. Nah. And you still get up and you push. You know what I'm saying? Nah, uh, man, being honest with you, man. I feel like your story, and I tell you this, bro, like, man, God got something big for you to do. You know what I'm saying? Like this, that's why I be, that's why I be excited when we do these interviews, because I know it's going to touch somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I've seen, you know, I've been there with you throughout the whole transition. You know what I'm saying? And you're not no bad dude. That's why I want a lot of young dudes to know, like, man, you can be a good nigga that do good to everybody, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's somebody out there that don't give a fuck about none of that, man. All they want is what you got. That's it. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And, you know, uh, to see you thriving, man, and still, you know, staying afloat, you know, pulling up to the store, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Still handling your business, man. I commend that, bro. I appreciate it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I commend that. I appreciate it. What uh, what you got planned for 2024? Working, really, just work, man. That's how I just been trying to really get everything situated to where it make everything make me comfortable. You know what I'm saying? To continue to keep doing what I was doing before all this. That's a real challenge. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. And. I, not being able to see what you're doing, it kind of, I ain't going to say it take value away from it, but it's harder to place value on it. Place value on it. Like, it's just like I'm sitting here drinking, I'm drinking this cup. Like, let's just say I wasn't picking it up so I can feel the weight, and I was just sitting here drinking it. I, would, I ain't going to never know I need no more until it's gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's just really how it is in business. Now I used to just be able to walk in there and be like, all right, I need this, 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 this. And now I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, it puts a lot of the burden on the people around me to really, you know what I'm saying, take a step up and be on their P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying, in order to keep me on point. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because if you don't let me know I need it, then how I'm supposed to go get it. You know what I'm saying? I can only... 
my mind can only do so much, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to be my eyes for me, you know what I'm saying? These ears work pretty well, now nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, everybody else got to be eyes for me just so I can, you know what I'm saying, I can be able to be effective in how I was before, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, I just, you know what I'm saying, just want to keep stuff going in 2024, man, just... Keep the ship sailing, man. Don't go under, you know what I'm saying? That's like one of my biggest pet peeves is quitters. I don't, I don't see how people do it, you know what I'm saying? You might do something for a thousand days and it might not go your way, but on a thousand and one day, that might be it. So what you look like quitting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just try to stick to that motto and just, you know what I'm saying, hope and pray that everything, you know what I'm saying? Goes in an upward turn, you know what I'm saying, for the next year and beyond, man. So let's sit back for a comeback, like they say. Always. But uh, I'm optimistic, man. Every day, man, we go get it together and keep it moving, for sure. Yeah. I got to ask you this. I've seen you help out a bunch of these niggas out here. You know what I'm saying? Now that you in this situation, do you get calls or... You know what I'm saying? Help from any of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, are they pulling up? Are they checking on you? You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or have things really changed? I mean, not to be funny, but it's a real eye-opening situation, just to be real, bro. Like, you know, I, I, I did a lot for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And it just seemed like, when it happened, you know what I'm saying, everybody was, oh, that's my nigga, get well. But in my heart, I don't feel like I received that same reception on a day-to-day -day basis from 90, 98% of the people who I used, to, I used to be I used to be there for whenever they needed me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it just really showed me, you know what I'm saying, that showed me how to handle them and showed me how to handle situations and really understand why. You know what I'm saying? People like to say, like, niggas with money and niggas that got stuff, stuff going on act funny at they whole ass niggas, but in reality, after going through this, I feel like I should have been a lot stingy with what I had going on, just to be honest, because when it all fell down, it ain't 10 people that caught me on a day to day basis, even a week to week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's going from a thousand motherfuckers caught you. You know, my phones ain't used to stop ringing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just really, you know what I'm saying, understanding that out of sight, out of mind play and really just pe people thinking, you know what I'm saying, because a nigga down is over with or, you know what I'm saying, a nigga can't get right, you know what I'm saying, with what I got up against me. But that's just fucking crazy, bro. I don't really think they understand the ambition to come back in. I got to just never fail. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to win, man. I always been like that and I'm going to stay like that. And I ain't got to let a couple bullets, you know what I'm saying, change that. I'll be a sucker to do that, man. Yeah. Man, I, I, I noticed during this time that you do have a strong support system. Sure. And that's your family. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's rallied around you. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And, you know, even though you might have didn't agree with what some of them was telling you, you know what I'm saying? Do you wish you would have listened now? Yeah and no, because... You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand and respect people being like, oh, why you out by yourself? Oh, why you don't got security when you go out? Oh, why? Uh. And it's just like, I don't really think people understand. Like, when you in the midst of it and it's going, and you know what I'm saying? Other people feel like you didn't accomplish or did something. If you got way of how it goes and aspirations and what you done accomplish already and what you're doing at that moment might not be shit to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I understand people saying like, oh, you got all this jury on and you be in the worst spot or oh, you, you know what I'm saying? You out by yourself all the time and you tripping, but... It's just like to me, like I'm comfortable. Well, you know, I'm comfortable in the same spots I used to have, have twenty dollars in my pocket in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what really gave me the, you know what I'm saying, the, the fulfillment of just being able to, you know what I'm saying, 
stand in line at these spots for so many years and then just be able to walk through the door now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a nigga like, a nigga love that. I don't want to go party with no bougie motherfuckers. I don't know. I want to go party with the motherfuckers who I was broke standing outside of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, it got pros and cons, you know what I'm saying? I respect and accept opinions, but at the end of the day, God wouldn't have placed me here if he didn't know I was going to go through this already. Yeah. So in my eyes, it's like even if I even if I would have had security, it'll just happen. The same thing would have happened. It would have just happened another way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't fight fate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just I ain't I ain't just too big on the way this. It's like I think about them, but at the end of the day, like I got to accept. You know what I'm saying? And take accountability for my actions, and that's in the positive and the negative aspect. And you know what I'm saying? Just accept what come with it. I mean. You can wake up, trip and fire, hit your head, and die getting out the bed. So how you gonna tell me what to do? This go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep my life going, especially when I'm not the ten of might help me to get to where I was trying to get to. Yeah. Like y'all just watch me do it, but got an opinion on when I get there. But y'all ain't, y'all ain't give me no gas money, or y'all ain't give me no ride on the way. So don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't worry about what I'm doing at the top of the mountain. Figure yo, you know what I'm saying? It might be a little naive, but it's just, I really accept and you know what I'm saying, except my path got God got me on and I I be I feel like I'd be weak to have regrets, you know what I'm saying? About yeah. anything I did. Cause I still feel like I got more accomplished in a couple of years than niggas got accomplished in their whole life. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna let nobody take that away from me by, you know what I'm saying? giving me that opinion and letting him rub me the wrong way or making me feel like I should have did this or that. Like, no, nah, like I was self-taught. I was taught by trial and error, me bumping my head. I ain't had nobody to put me on to hold my hand and walk me through this, you know what I'm saying? I'm still learning every day. I plan on learning every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, I don't really take back nothing that I, nothing that I did. I just, you know what I'm saying, I'm content with this. this is what God placed me here to go through, you know what I'm saying, be a vessel to other people and show them how to be strong and keep going. And if I can do it, then, nigga, what excuse can you really make? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still punching and kicking. So man, just let's get it, my nigga. I'm, I'm see if I can dwell on the negativity that ain't going. You're just wasting your time. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Man, you know, for uh, for all the people, you know what I'm saying, that's been uh, asking and wondering, you know what I'm saying, how you doing, man? You know, what you want to say to them before we get up out of here, man? Stop writing comments on my live and sending me a DM, because I cannot see it at all. <laughs> oh, God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This, man, I'm good, man. Like, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really got a, just a true chance to really just process it. I say, I came out the doctor one day, like right after it happened, about a good month. And you know what I'm saying? I told him, like, push me by a window or something right quick, give me a minute. And I said, then, you know what I'm saying? Let it really punch me in the chest for about two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then shit, I sucked it up in it, and I've been back to this. You know what I'm saying? Me ever since, man. It's not really. I ain't looking for no pity party. I ain't looking for no handout. I just want, you know what I'm saying? Respect. You know what I'm saying? And genuine love. You feel me? Yeah. And that's just, you know what I'm saying? That's that. It, it, it sounds good for people to holler your name so they can associate themselves with something that, you know what I'm saying? Means something outside. Yeah. And I, but. Action and effort, you know what I'm saying? It speak volumes, and it ain't a lot of people really gave me that when I, you know what I'm saying, came about that hospital, man. It's probably a handful of people, man, that's really consistent and just show, show a nigga, you know what I'm saying, just real love and just show a nigga that really care and check on me and call me just to make sure I'm all right, make sure, you know what I'm saying, see if I need anything. And... It was why I was giving money away, how people was lined up to hit me up and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just, you know what I'm saying? I just really just, crazy as it sounds, I appreciate it for taking place. 
you know what I'm saying? Because man, look, I I gotta ask you this, man. You know, being honest, how does that make you feel, though? You know what I'm saying? Like I know that has to bother you or weigh on you some kind of way, man. Like it, it'll piss me off sometimes, but being there, like. Like God, God, God got me to where I'm at. Like, yeah. can't no niggas say they did nothing for me, bro. Like, but two niggas and they both did. My, my brother, rest in peace, Matthew, and Vandy, R.I.P. Vandy. Like, my brother, he, you know what I'm saying? He put his life on the line for me, and he lost his life. And Vandy put me down in this whole, you know what I'm saying? Game to be legitimate and. Hooked me up with the right people that I done had relationships with since I met him and that got me to this successful, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's like being that outside of them two niggas, I don't really feel ain't nobody, but nobody, you know what I'm saying? In that swim with me thugging every day when I was out the trunk or when I finally got the spot and had a wooden table and a, and a folding chair sitting in that motherfucker, like I was sitting in there by myself. You know what I'm saying? Niggas would come sit around there, drink syrup, and smoke weed. But when it came down to doing the work, I was doing it by myself. So if I, you know what I'm saying? If I understand that my road to success is going to be a lonely road. And then once I make it to the destination, it's going to be a crowd around. But you know what I'm saying? When it's time to get back on that road, it's like NASCAR. You in that car by yourself, but when you hit that pit stop, Everybody running in, jumping, taking out what they can, switching stuff off, doing whatever they can, so I'll say to help you win. But when you jump right back on that road again, you right by yourself again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, that was just a that pitch that was just a chapter in my life, you know what I'm saying? The way I stopped and we changed all the times and now I'm back on the road, just you know what I'm saying? For yeah. make the rest of my laps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't I try not to let it make me feel no type of way. I just, you know what I'm saying, I accept it and I respect it and I just gotta understand who to show that love to from now on. You know what I'm saying? Being that I see who go show me love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus Showing a million motherfuckers love and expecting a million motherfuckers to show you love back and like don't really work like that because everybody wasn't raised like you. So they may not get the same response that you would give in that same situation, no matter what you did for them. You know what I'm saying? A nigga might feel like, oh, he did that to me because he owed me that. I don't owe a nigga nothing. I ain't like, never owed nobody nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everything I ever done was out the kindness of my heart. So. You know what I'm saying? That just shows that you don't got the same kind as I, I have. That don't make you a less of a person or a bad person. Yeah. But I got to understand that I can't pour into you how I did with these great thoughts of you in my mind and knowing and accepting the reality of what I'm going through right now that you're not, to me, who I was to you. Yeah. You feel me? So. Yeah. Everybody ain't gonna love you though, man. Like, that's one thing I know. Like in my head, I just I always felt like if it was a thousand motherfuckers saying something good about me, it was ten thousand saying something bad. But that's what come with, you know what I'm saying? Being in that in that in that two percent, like you be saying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The niggas who really got something going on, I hear really going somewhere. Everybody ain't go, you know what I'm saying? Be honest with thyself and understand the motivation and the I can do it too that you gave them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just go see what you're doing and feel like, man, that nigga ain't doing shit. I can do that shit better. When in reality, I'm inspiring you to do what you're doing. Yeah. Because if, 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 if you ain't see me, me do, it, do it, you wouldn't be you doing wouldn't it. feel like you could either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, to each his own. You know, niggas got flip, twist, bend, throw shit the way they want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Except the right way. So, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm going to just try to continue to be a good person and keep being one of God's favorites, like you be telling me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, for me to, you know what I'm saying, go through what I went through and still be able to sit here and talk to you, he got to love me. He got to have a plan for me. And he's showing me that I, that can't nothing stop me, man. Yeah. For sure, man. For sure, man. Bass, I appreciate you, man. 
I appreciate you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't let the year go out without, you know, letting the people hear from you, man. Man, I, I, half of these motherfuckers really don't know what's really going on, bro. That's the funny part, niggas still yeah. be, hey, Bass, what's up, boy? Like, running up on me, trying to, I'm like, niggas really don't get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's yeah. real uncomfortable for me, for, but I'm adapting to it, man, man. I just appreciate people like you, my mama, my old man, my woman, my my brothers, my sisters, aunties, uncles, my beautiful kids, my brother, Matthew V. Just I appreciate everybody who was instrumental in, you know what I'm saying, getting me to this point and just keeping me going, you know what I'm saying? I can't stop what God got me for you, man. Yeah. So just stay pressing. There's nothing that these haters can do, there's nothing that these suckers can do, man. Just keep going. 2024, it's going to be big. I swear to God, man. 2024, it's on the floor, man. Y'all stay tuned. With all that being said, man, like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that, man. Hey, Bass, like, I appreciate you, brother. Direct, a different perspective, live and direct, man. We here, man. We out. Shout out, Lily. Hey, baby. That's to my wife, you know what I'm saying? We out.